Greetings, Tubidors. Here we go again, back in short order to D-I-T-R-H, deep inside the rabbit hole, an analysis of his most recent nonsense, uh, for want of a better way of putting it. And, um, well, his insistence, essentially, that every time NASA send a large vehicle into space, um, in fact, what they're actually doing is nothing more than floating a large balloon off into the air, um, apparently with the sole intention of trying to fool us all. Um, however, this channel, D-I-T-R-H, which doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, does it? Ditter. Well, ditter. Dirtier. I don't know. Dirty. We'll call him Dirty. Dirty, however, has uncovered this imagined deceit and produced several videos um, to promote this nonsense. In order, uh, no doubt, to keep the channel monetized, as I'm sure many of the more prominent flat earthers do. Uh, that seems to be their intention because I honestly can't really believe that so many people who are actually able to put together reasonably good production value videos would lack the intelligence to realize that this is all absolute nonsense. However, this complete dung biscuit of a theory that uh, that Dirty is, is promoting is essentially so ludicrous that it would be funny if it wasn't for the fact that so many people seem to actually believe it, um, which is either a sad indictment on the education system um, or proof that far too many uneducated people think that they have a much greater understanding of how things work than the people who actually make these things work. Um, this is a brief example for you. There you go, folks. It's very obviously a blimp. <laughs> now, I'm not going to list the 27 million reasons why this is so obviously not a blimp, um, especially since the video that Simon Dan posted this morning, um, several hours after my video commenting on Dirty's blimp videos, I hasten to add, um, deals with this attempt to accuse the, the Challenger shuttle of being a blimp, as well as the Endeavour thruster rocket. Um, besides, if that tank was a blimp, then I think that these people would have noticed. I'm sure they would have. But one more thing before we move on. Um, in order to bolster his assertions that the main tank is a blimp and that the shot is easily made here on Earth, he includes this little snippet. I am. You guessed it, on the ISS. A secret mission, they flew me up here, they wanted me to see that the ISS was real and the Earth is a ball, and I gotta tell you, the Earth is a ball. Pacific, Just guys, wanted you to see this, the Earth is not flat. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just kidding. This is a picture from my front yard. Don't be fooled. Quite ingenious, I'm sure you'll agree. The sort of effect that a very low-budget sci-fi movie might employ, but not... I don't think, anyway, the $21 billion a year NASA. That's one hell of a budget. They, they could produce some pretty impressive CGI if they had to. Um, but using that bit of camera trickery, Dirty then draws the conclusion that this must be exactly how the NASA main tank footage must have been shot. There's only one problem. In this footage, we not only see the curvature of the Earth against the blackness of space through the window of, I'm presuming, the shuttle, but we can also see land masses on the surface of the planet. Tough cheese rabbit boy. So, let's turn our attention to another equally idiotic observation made by this turd peddler. Now, it concerns this shining example of what happens when you haven't got the slightest clue about what it is that you're looking at, but you still feel compelled and qualified to make some public comment on it. Wait a minute, say what? Again? What the fuck? 
Zoom and slow that for us, please, Mr. Dirty. And enhanced. Yes, it's a piece of tin foil. Specifically, a piece of thermal shielding that's become detached and is floating around outside the shuttle. Here's another piece, either smaller or just further away. And this is the problem with 99% of everything that these high subscription dickheads post. Um, they have to keep their channels monetized in fear of having to actually go out and get a real job. So they spaff out the most ludicrous BS because they know the sort of people who believe this stuff actually consider it to be research. Um, no critical thinking, um, not even a mild question into the subject matter. Um, if it's on YouTube, it's proof, as far as they're concerned, of um, aliens, NASA lies, Illuminati conspiracies, flat earth, unicorns, tooth fairy, you name it. If they find a video um which bolsters their own confirmation bias then that's it as far as they're concerned it's the truth um it would be a perfect example of darwinism at work if it wasn't for the worry in fact that these people are actually allowed to breed sorry times ladies and gentlemen sorry times indeed anywho that's all i'm gonna say on dirty uh, for now, I've no doubt I'll come back to their videos in the future because they are an incredibly fertile ground for comment and general piss taking. So, thank you again for watching. Um, very short video this time. I know I'm going to extremes, aren't I? 21 minutes, one end. God knows how short this is. I don't know what, five minutes? We'll find out. But thank you so much for watching. Um, if you'd like to see a bit more of this sort of thing, then do give that uh, subscribe button a little click. Hit the bell notification. YouTube will send you an email on my behalf telling you when my next rant against idiocy drops onto YouTube. Until then, please be safe, be nice to each other. Until next time, Heulwaur.